Hi, it's Karen, the Weekend Craftaholic, and I have got some incoming Happy Mail to show you. Now, if you've seen my video for my 2020 plans, Happy Mail was hot on the list for that. This is something that I've been wanting to do more of this year, so I was super stoked to see that Jamie was asking people if they were interested in a Happy Mail swap that was on Instagram. So I'm going to put Jamie's links below. She does have YouTube as well as Instagram. And Jamie is a really creative scrapper that's also Australian, lives in Queen. Queensland, so it was great to receive this from her. Now you can see it's absolutely jam-packed and loaded. I have shared a few photos already on my Instagram but I've not actually opened any of the parcels yet so I wanted to do that on camera. So first of all I'm going to start just by emptying all of this because I wanted you to see this gorgeous detailing that she's put at the top. So she's got the tulle that she'd stitched on and these gorgeous little uh, sequins at the back and even down to these little tassels as well. I absolutely love this envelope that she's made. So I am so happy that we have done this swap together. Now I will say I didn't take a video of mine but I'm going to share some photos of mine at the end of this video so stay tuned if you'd like to see what I sent to Jamie but this video really is all about this incoming happy mail from Jamie. So again she's done like the netting or the tulle stitched on this gorgeous little card with some sequins with some embellishment on the front and there's a little note inside so a nice handmade card as well which is super cute and we have got one two three four five six parcels now i'm reaching for this first off because how cute is that i'm definitely gonna have to try making one of these i have to say it's like a little lollipop it is it's just too cute it is too cute this is my favorite and i'm just gonna leave it like that this this is gonna be in my craft room on my shelf so i can look at and it absolutely brings me joy when i look at it so thank you very much jamie if you're watching the, for these this is so cute i love the gold theme that's running through all of this as well now there's a little baggy and see she's in, even embellished the front so so much detail on a lot of these i absolutely love them and then these are some little embellishments some flower embellishments that i can use as well which obviously the, you can't go wrong with flowers everyone loves the flower embellishments and then here it looks like she's made her own little packaging how cute is that so she's pinched this side added some ribbon very very cute so that's one little envelope and then again another shaker pocket with the sequins which as you know if you're on my instagram i am absolutely addicted to sequins nice little peg as well and let's see what is inside oh there's lots inside oops oh what have we got so it looks like let me just move these out of the way and i can put them here lots of little delicates so let's turn them the right way so i suspect she's used a dye machine to make me all of these gorgeous little goodies wow there is so much in here absolutely can't go wrong i've not seen this style before oh there we go it's so i can make my own little um little packaging as well oh that is so cute some banners some love hearts wow that is cute so lots of tags oh wow look at that one she has put so much effort into this i'm feeling a little bit <laughs> When you see my photos at the, at the end, you will see that I have not made half as much of an effort. I'm feeling a little bit embarrassed now seeing how much detail that she's gone to. This is stunning. I absolutely love memory decks. Memory decks is my thing. So that is super gorgeous. I, I'm not sure of any of these paper collections, but look at this one. It's got little scissors on and brushes. So I don't recognize any of them, but they are all super cute. And look at this one that she's made herself as well. I'll not take this out of the packaging because you can see obviously through it what's inside but absolutely stunning the amount of detail that's gone into that now this one is all gift wrapped up so let's have a little peek oh look at this now I do recognize this I think it's from Rosie Studios or um we sell these in the reject store here in Australia, but she's obviously made these herself as well, these little rosettes. They're going to be so cute because I do have some of these as well, so I'll be able to use these in a layout for sure. Even this top bit, you can see, 
absolutely gorgeous and this is a Tim Holtz um, sentiment too cute and then there's also some more, more rosettes on here as well and again these details with the twine and the ruffles so many ideas she must have had a lot of fun making this I have to say um, I know I spent a, a full afternoon about three four hours I'm sure she spent a lot longer than that with the amount of goodies that are in this this in incoming happy mail and Jamie if you are watching it certainly has made me happy um, this is one of my favourite pieces. I am going to um, maybe move some of the stuff you sent around and embellish it a bit more. This is going to be my Memory Dex Monday for sure. I'm going to use that on my Instagram. And the little shaker pockets as well. These are going to be great. I can make little cards with those and use some embellishments. And all of these tags are definitely going to get utilised in future projects. And I say this one I'm going to keep with the envelope as my decoration for the happy mail swap so if you've done happy mail yourself or you're interested let me know it's definitely something that i want to do a little bit more of now that my design team work is finished for this year i'm definitely looking um to do a little bit more of this myself so having some of these ideas um of how to put it together is is absolutely fantastic for me as a beginner as a beginner swapper so please let me know if it's something you'd be interested in but stay tuned for my photos so this was my overall package if you like we agreed to do a loaded envelope i just couldn't figure out how to get a piece of paper this size though i really couldn't figure out how to actually get an envelope from a 12 by 12 sheet so you see mine's a square one with a pom-pom trim and i've used the sweet story collection by maggie holmes crepe paper throughout for this and then as part of my little um six or seven little inserts my favorite one is this one this little envelope absolutely super cute i just use my envelope maker for that and I just put some um, cut apart sheets in that Jamie can reuse and just embellished it a little with some sequins. The other insert I did, I just made a little pocket again with a little um, glittery peg with some um, gift tags that she could use as well. So again, it was kind of cut apart sheet um, from the collection that I thought she might be able to use. And inside this little coin holder, um, I've got some more, I've got some little goodies as well for her that she can use. Moving on to this, this has got the sentiments from one of the paper sheets just cut up so she can use those as well as maybe title cards in her layouts and again just in a little ready-made pocket. And then I enclosed a book as well so I used some of the sheets just to make a little book um, with obviously a cover on the front as well and another little peg so she could actually use that for some journaling. And then you can see here, this was just a little rosette decoration that I made at the bottom of the envelope as well. So I hope Jamie enjoys that. I did include some extra little bits. You can see at the front, I've got some enamel dots for her. And as well in the little package, there's some washi tape samples, just in some coordinating colours that I thought would suit the collection itself, as well as a little bottle full of sequins that I've just mixed up as well, which again, coordinating colours with the collection. So I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great crafting weekend and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.